paying and how much they were paying. They never queried that because it was their tournament. The man behind one of the biggest sports scandals to rock the country. Majola was today finally shown the door by Cricket South Africa. Amongst the reasons behind his axing, awarding himself and 29 staff members undisclosed bonuses, claiming and receiving payments and enjoying travel benefits for himself and his wife, which were not business related. Well, today was really just about the sanction, and the sanction is one of a summary dismissal, which will be implemented with immediate effect by Cricket South Africa. Speaking through his lawyer, Pumezo David, Majola says he knows the sanction by CSA, but is not concerned. He is betting on a Labour court ruling sometime next year, which could see this process and decision overturned. Cricket South Africa, though, are confident. They are already looking to fill the vacant Majola position. Well, they can immediately proceed with the recruitment procedure to appoint a new CEO. The labour matter is pending on another point and we'll fight it. Majola could have a strong case. He is arguing that the Ministerial Committee of Inquiry, chaired by Judge Chris Nicholson, which led to a second disciplinary hearing, was a violation of his rights. And the sports minister had no right to interfere. And they authorised that payment. If that's the case, then this saga is set to continue. Tabi Sositola, SABC News, Johannesburg.